Hello, pilots of the internet. Welcome to Foldable Flight. My name is Kyle, and this is where I teach you how to fold paper airplanes that will blow your mind. In this video, I'm teaching you how to fold Plasma Z, and it is a nice hybrid between a dart and a glider. And if we look at the front of the plane, you can see that it is exceptionally aerodynamic. And that's because I've locked the layers together on the bottom of the plane. And moreover, the layers all obey the direction of airflow. That means as it moves through the air, none of those layers are catching the air. And so this is an excellent flyer. I think it easily flies 150 feet. I don't have any guarantee of that because I don't have a space large enough to test it indoors. But I, I do believe that it'll fly that far. And I folded this one using Astro Bright Celestial Blue paper. And I just like Astro Brights because it's a little bit thicker than normal paper. And also they have brilliant colors. But if you support me on Patreon, as always, I've done a foldable template for this plane. And I think this one is one of the coolest looking planes I've designed so far. So let's see it in action. As with most of my planes, Plasma Z is folded out of a single sheet of 8.5 by 11 inch paper. And we're just going to begin by folding it in half from the right edge to the left edge. And once we've done that, we're going to fold this top edge here. Here's our folded edge. We're gonna take the top edge to our folded edge, which should make a little triangle, just like so. And then I'll flip the paper over and fold the other side to match. And now we can open our paper up like this. In the next step, I want to fold this top point to this point right here along this edge of the triangles. So I wanna land the point on the center crease there. and your plane should look like this. And next I just want to rotate it and look at it from this orientation. And what we're doing next are making some reference creases for a future fold. So I want to take this edge here and fold it to this edge here. And I'm just going to crease to where it intersects this center point there. If you crease beyond that, it's really not a big deal, but creasing to that point is all that is needed. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. And we'll open that up and you can see now I have these two reference creases and I'm going to rotate the plane back to the orientation I had. And next you can see we have this diagonal edge. I'm going to want to make a crease just on this layer here along that edge. So I'm going to open this pocket and try to get my finger back into that corner because that's where it'll fight you most and just lift this whole layer and pull it until I can reach in and give a crease right along that edge. And I've only creased this layer right here. Now once I've done that, I can pull this tight and I want to flatten this whole thing where this edge here that is forming lands on the reference crease 
we made in that previous step. So I want to land the edge right on that. So I'm going to pull it like so, begin to flatten it, and it's at this point that I begin lining that up with the reference crease and I collapse it like so. And this is called a swivel fold. And once I've done that, I will do the same thing on the other side. Open up the pocket, pull it, because I want to make a crease right here on this edge. Reach in and actually create that crease. And now you can see that that layer is creased. And next I want to fold it in such a way that I create an edge that lands on this diagonal reference crease. And really I want to match this up to the side I've already folded because symmetry is more important than exact precision in terms of your references. So I want my two wings to be exactly identical rather than exactly correct. Okay, and your plane should look like this. Now all I'm going to do is open up each side, making a new crease here, but kind of just using this existing crease as a hinge. So I just open it up like so, and crease it, and then I'll do the same thing over here. And now I'm going to take this short edge here and fold it to this diagonal edge right there. And this is forming a tab that will help lock the plane together in a few steps. I'll do the same thing on this side. And now that we've done that, I will fold this top edge here into the center like so. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now I'm going to open this up and show you a little bit about the next step because the next step is pretty hard to show in film. You can see that we have a tab here and you can see that we have a pocket here. This tab is going to fit into this pocket. And the way that we do that is you can see as I swing this, that pocket lands right in front of, right here in front of this tab. So then when we flip the tab in, it'll lock into the pocket. But it's hard to show because I kind of have to close the plane up in order to do it. But you can see the tab in there. And once I kind of have the plane closed, I'm just gonna shove that in along its existing crease into the pocket. And now once I flatten the plane, you can see that all these layers lock together. So I'll do the same thing here on this side and try to show you once again. Here's our pocket, here's our tab. And you can see when I close it, that pocket's going to land right there. And then I'm going to flip this tab into the pocket. So here I'm closing it up and you can look into the paper and here is the tab. Turn that up a little bit and I'm just going to poke that tab and flip it into the pocket. Like so. And then when I begin to flatten that, you can see my layers are locked together. So there you go, that's far and away the hardest part of this plane. And all we have left to do really is fold the wings and one aesthetic decision. This step is not really important. It's very optional. I just like to do it because I think it cleans up the trailing edge of the plane, but it might even uh, negatively impact the performance. I'm not sure. It's just a small aesthetic thing that I do. These edges go past this back edge. I'm gonna fix that just for my own taste by folding 
the corner up like so, and then flipping it inside. I'll show that more clearly on this other side. So you can see here, this is going past the point I want it to. I'm just going to fold it so that the edge I create lands right along this back edge. And once I've done that, I'll just flip it, reverse the fold, so that it goes inside and behind that other layer. So it should look like this now. And again, that step is just optional. And now all we have to do is fold the wings. So we'll fold the, wing, the plane in half on that existing crease. And your uh, wings are going to be created by folding this edge here to this bottom edge here. And once I've done that, I'll flip it over and do the same thing. Fold this edge to that edge. And really, I want to match this up to my other wing if my other wing isn't perfectly aligned. Because remember, symmetry is the most important thing. And there you go. You have a finished Plasma Z. Let me know if you had any trouble with the steps. I'm happy to help you. Just leave a timestamp with where you're struggling and I'll respond to you in the comments. As always, you can subscribe for more awesome paper airplane content by clicking on my channel icon in the top right corner or check out another one of my videos here. And if you really like what I do, head over to patreon.com slash foldableflight or foldableflight.com. Thanks for watching and good luck flying.